get started. So today we're just using the weights and grab yourself a pair of weights. Uh, let's just keep them on the side for now. We're going to warm ourselves up and something like, you know, something not too crazy. We're going to be using two. I'm just going to stick with two five pounds because I am sore today from yesterday's workout. You can grab whatever you need to to grab for yourself though. All right, some high knees for the first 30 seconds here. We're gonna drive that knee right up into your chest. Perfect, breathing out. And we're going for 30 seconds. Like a head sit. Okay. Perfect, and guys, feel free to play your own music. I'm not going to here because I want you guys to hear me, but feel free to play your own music. That is a-okay. All right, we have five more seconds here of these high knees. Then we're going to switch to glute back kicks. Three, two, and one. Okay, glute kicks to the back. We're going to go for 30 seconds here as well. Grabbing that heel right up. I'm leaning forward slightly as I'm pulling my belly button into my low back. into a wide squat here, staying low, shifting from one side to the other. Perfect. Really getting into the side abductor here. Going for 30 seconds as well. Up 10 seconds. And five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. Okay. Side abductor pulse. So you're going to lift your right leg out. Are we just going to bounce and pulse? Now, if you're feeling it more in the front, you want to move that leg behind you a little bit so it's more to the back as you pulse, and then you'll definitely get more of that side glute, side action. Good work here, we got 20 more seconds. So we're going to use these for lower body first. Our first set is going to be a drop kick up, guys, okay? So I have two fives over there. That's going to be for upper body. You have a variety of weights. You can grab one that's a bit more easier to handle here, like in terms of one single weight. Okay, drop kick up. So we're starting with front lunge. We're going to use your left, use the left side first. Typically, we're weaker on the left side. So left drop kick up. Always stepping forward, okay, it's not a back lunge. You're gonna do this for 30 seconds. Drop the weight on the outside of the left leg and pick it back up. Perfect, okay, keep going guys. We're going for 30 seconds, it's been 10. We got another 20 here. Side view, always making sure that the front knee is right over your ankle. Each 
kind of lunge forward, okay? And I'm keeping my back really nice and straight. Three, two, and one. Perfect. Weight shift. Keep that weight. You're going to keep those legs split, breathing out as you drive all your weight into that front lunge, and then extend. Good. So shifting all my weight into the front lunge. Trying to sit back into my hips. Keep going, folks. 
Got 10 more seconds here. Pull your belly in. Five, four, three, two, one. And drop that weight. Good work. Okay. Next one here. Hops, split hops. Right leg's going to stay forward as you switch and alternate for 30 seconds. Okay. Right leg. Three, two, and one. Better. Use your hands too. Watch that front knee. Make sure it's not collapsing inward. Always want to be pushing it outward. The other way. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice work. Okay, front lunge is done. Now, going to a side lunge. So, we started with the left leg. We're going to start with the left leg one more time here. Grabbing your weight. Let's keep the weight in our right arm, even though you're stepping out to the left. Okay, you're gonna drop it just in front of your left toe and step back. Drop, pick up, okay? Three, two, and one, let's go. Side left lunge, drop the weight, and I'm gonna pick it up back up. comfortable for you. And that you're pulling your belly button into low back. Three, two, one. Nice job. Okay. Right leg, sorry, left leg stays where it is. Weight shift. Bring your weights up to your chest. You're shifting into the right and up. All right. Three, sorry, left. Three, two, and one. Left weight shift. Back, back, down, and up. Nice work. And I'm really trying to sit back into my heel as much as I can. If you have a mirror, great. You can look at your form a few times. Nice work. Side lunge is actually super underrated for glute strength and glute shaping. That's why I'm. Always trying to put them in there. Good work. Okay, almost three. Three, two, one. Nice. Okay, what's next? Toe tap. So you're going to hold the weight in your right. You can do both hands too. Tap with the right. Three, two, one. Tap in with the right. Keeping all the weight on our left leg. Nice work. Most important part of this toe tap is to sit back and extend that right leg. Honestly, hold the weight however you like to. Fifteen. Make sure you 
alternate which leg starts the taps to. sweaty. Hope you are too. Nice work. Right. Keep sitting back into the heel bone. Leaning forward. Pulling belly in. Three. Two. One. Weight shift. Nice work. Keep that right leg where it is. Bring your weight right into your chest. We're sitting back into our right heel. Three, two, and one. Okay, weight shift to the right. Extend. Nice. Try and get that elbow to touch your knee. Good work. All that push is coming out of your heel. Good work, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, nice job. Okay, keeping the weight um, on your right side, we're gonna do our toe taps to the left. In three, two, one. Okay, tap it over. Try and stay low. Nice job, keep going. Ooh, feeling that hamstring, holy. Keep flying belly in. And five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, good job. Okay, drop that weight on the floor. So we're going to start a jump, alternating toe taps in three, two, and one. Let's go up and tap to the sides. Perfect. It's hard fit, guys. <laughs> Toes are pointed out to 45. 
best friend or the hip hinge. Our best friend. and one nice work. Okay, weight shift here. Let's keep that weight right up at our hip, at our shoulders. We're going to go all the way down and up. 30 seconds. Weight shift down and up. There. Five, four, three, two, one. Fantabulous. Okay. We're going to hold and do our side taps. So you're actually going to move your legs right together. Weight stays. You're sitting down into your hips. Alternating side tap. Okay. It's not speed here. It's about staying low and really reaching out to the sides with your toe, okay? Let's go in three, two, and one. Perfect, shift that weight around. Working that booty, you're gonna feel this booty tomorrow. Oh my gosh, I know you will. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. Did you stay low the whole time? I hope you did. <laughs> okay, next one here. Ooh, we're gonna like this one. It's a new one. Side shuffle to a burpee with a squat jump. Huh? I'll explain it. Okay, so you're gonna start in plank. Okay, legs are wide. Jumping in. To the squat, you're gonna stay low as you side shuffle. Now, if you don't have room, that's okay. We're gonna do one to that direction, one to this direction. Okay, right, left, down, hop back, okay? In, side shuffle, side shuffle, hands down, hopping back. Okay, now for real speed, we're gonna try and keep it really quick. We're gonna go for 30 seconds. Three, two, and one. Let's go in. And down. In. No rest. Shoulders off the floor. 
breathe out, just sit all the way back up. Okay, so this is a sit up with a shoulder fold. <laughs> okay, 30 seconds. Let's try and get 10 solid reps in. Three, two, and one. Let's go. Breathe out. And nice job. Breathe out at the top there. Inhale while you're, while you're here. Exhale to come up. Last one. Yeah, good job. Okay, this time you're going to keep your weights. Okay, you're going to lie down. Shoulders are still up. I need to go closer. Okay, shoulders are up. Weights are here. Arms are straight. You're going to pulse your upper body into your toe and then switch. Woo! Up and switch. Already? Let's go for 30 seconds. In three, two, and one. Nice job. Okay, next one, we're doing a hold. Okay, phase three hold. Okay, here we go, holding your legs at 45, arms are behind your ears. Okay, and we're gonna just stay here for 30 seconds. In three, two, one, here we go. Hold. Now, most important thing is that low back is down. If it's not, lift the legs up to 90. Okay, that should help you out. If it's easy, bring them down. Okay, but low back has to stay down. Woo! Even for me, this is tough. We got this. Want to make sure we're doing it properly because that's the only way you're going to build a really strong core and abdominal engagement with proper form. Oh my gosh, this is hell. Almost there, almost there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it in. Woo okay, really good. Phase four, hit. Okay, core hit. So you're gonna stay down there and we're gonna do a bicycle crunch. Rapid movement, okay, as fast as you can go. There's no way it's involved. Hands are behind your shoulders. You're crunching across, okay, and switching. We got this, let's go. In three, bicycle crunch. Two, and one. Two, good, fast, fast, fast. Get it in there. So you're peeling one shoulder off at a time. Make sure you're only your finger pads are behind your head. Okay, you don't want your hands pulling your head forward. Just kind of want your head to rest in your hands. Super important. You can still look right through your legs. Find that's the best way to relieve any neck tension. But I'm not pulling my neck forward with my upper body. It's all my core. That's why I'm dying. Five, four, three, two, and one. Hallelujah. Good job. All right. Because I love you guys so much, we're going to do it one more time. Yes, we are. I know. This is tough. We got this. Okay. All the way down. Sit ups. Say a little prayer really quick. And we're going. In three. Sit ups all the way down, covering the shoulders. Two and one. Here we go. Oh! Ah, uh, woo, second time around feels different. That is for sure. Oh my gosh. I told you guys, I 
told you guys I'd be dying with you. I told you. Fifteen. It's okay, by the end of this, I have to steal, guys. Three weeks plus, get out of my face. I got this. I'm gonna work on me. Last one. Oh, yes, good job. Okay, next one. So we're gonna keep those arms straight. We're doing an alternating pulse into our foot. I don't remember what that one looks like. Here we go, here's a demo. Up, switch, okay? I am bringing up more than just my shoulders. My upper back is going mid back too, okay? Low back, not so much. That one still stay down. But it's more of a full range movement. Okay, three, two, and one. Let's do this. Four, three, two, one, and release. Woo! Good job. Okay, next one, our hold. We're gonna hold it. Okay, same kind of banana boat pose. We're gonna do it for 30 seconds. Hands are behind the ears. Legs are at 45. Okay, three, two, and you want to hold. Pull that tummy in. Pull it in. Put it down onto your mat. If you're feeling your low back bone, we'll raise your legs up or here. That's good too. Tabletop spine by me. Keep going. Keep those hands back. Five, four, three, two, one. Release. Okay, last one guys and you are through. We got this, okay? We're gonna do a little stretch, just because I like you. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go bicycle crunches one more time really quickly. Let's go in three, two, one, fire. Remember what I said about the neck? You can look straight through your legs. Okay, we're not pulling our head forward with our Hands is staying braced into our hands, okay? We brace that head in. It's like a little hammock for our head. Do it. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Nice round of applause and a pat on the back, guys. You did it. Let's do a quick stretch. Okay, you can stay wherever you are. You're gonna hit the hip flexor first. Here we are. One leg forward, knees on the floor. You're gonna shift forward, okay? And just let all that weight take your pelvis down, okay? Breathing in and out. weight forward, letting that hip flexor hang out. And hamstring stretch. Step one, and we're just going to drop our knee towards our head as much as we can.
Good. Work pigeon pose. You're going to keep one leg forward, sitting on the outside of the hip. You're going to lie down towards your forearms. This is a predominantly a yoga pose. It's great for three different kind of things. Wow. Pretty cool. Hip flexor stretch, which is on the opposite side of your bent leg. Side abductor glute stretch and low back stretch on that front, front knee. Okay, you should feel all those. If you don't feel one, that's okay. Then it just means you're uh, you're not as tight in that area, which is which is not a bad thing. <laughs> okay, breathing in through the nose. Exhale. Add a sigh. So if you can feel all that tension just drifting out of the body as you do your exhale. Switching arms. Same thing here. Let's actually go through our legs. <laughs> Let's go through a downward dog pose. Here, once you get to downward dog, you're going to keep those heels up high. Drop the... Uh, Bring your hips up high, okay? Once you feel that hamstring stretch, you're gonna breathe in through the ribs, drop the head, okay? Try your shoulder, try to have your shoulders really just like chilling and not by your ears. You don't want them high here. You want to release, yeah. And then the last one, you're gonna drop the heels to get a nice calf stretch. Good work, and pigeon pose, other side this time. Drop that head, breathe in. And exhale through the side. One more time. And exhale. Good work, guys. Slowly climbing out of that. We're going to do downward dog one more time. Okay. Feet are at hip width. Knees are slightly bent. Hips are facing the ceiling as much as they can. Shoulders are far away from the ears, okay? We don't want any crunching in the neck. No, no. Small, soft bend in the elbows and your ribs are dropping through. Breathing in. Exhale. Pull those heels down to the floor. Gently and carefully, okay? If they touch, fabulous. If they don't, still very good. Try your best to just let that stretch happen naturally for you. Good. Pulling belly button in. You're gonna bend the knees and lean forward. Drop the knees on the mat, little child pose. Exhale, slowly rolling up until head and neck are last. Thank you guys so much, you killed it. All right, see you next week. This was more of a trial run and um, what's it called? Tuesday, 9 a.m. It's gonna be a really good class. All right guys, thank you so much. Have a great rest of your day.